and we welcome you to Raul Pimli for match 27 of the HBL Pakistan Super League Season 9, Islamabad United and Multan Sultans, where we don't have confirmation of the top two teams yet. Multan can secure a top two spot if they win today, and that will offer them two bites of a cherry if needed in the playoffs. Islamabad can seal a playoff spot after an indifferent start to the season if they can win. Lahore and Quetta Gladiators playing later on this evening. Doubleheader Sunday. A little bit earlier, former Pakistan captain Ramiz Raja was out there with the captains. Islamabad United won the toss and elected to bold first, as has been their way. So Multan will be trying to set up a total to defend in this crucial, crucial, crucial encounter. Multan have got four changes in their lineup. The last time they played here, they were beaten by Peshawar Zalmi. Big news is Usman Khan is back with them, who has been scoring runs and loves this ground, loves batting in this ground. Yasir Khan, the emerging player, comes in. Johnson Charles comes in. And Abbas Afri, the only fast bowler to take five wickets in Pindi Stadium. He has found a spot for himself in the team. They are talking about Islamabad United, this side, uh, constellated with some big names. Utility is there, imposing players are there, and few match winners. Naseem Shah is back. And that brings potency in their bowling lineup. The only concerns, opener Alex Hales. There is a slip in place. There's a deep third and a deep backward square for Nazim Shah. Leg by to get things going for Multan. I'm trying to remember whether Nazim actually has used the new ball from this end. I think he did against Peshawar. Too quick to be gathered down the leg side by Azam Khan. Runs given. Nine without loss. First delivery goes for a boundary. That's a positive beginning for the young man, Yasser. Gets it into the gap. That's where he cannot afford to drift outside the off stump, Imad, and he knows that. Lovely shot. And this is what happens when you use your feet against spinners. The length can go back. Fahim Ashraf, who bowled beautifully. Last game. Oh, nice six. What a pickup shot to greet Fahim. One scholarship for a deserving young person. Picked up the length really well. We have seen more than often that teams go after Fahim Ashraf. He has played really well. Goes for the pull again and gets a similar result. Two sixes in the over. Knocked him over, beauty. Absolute beauty from Hunain Shah. Gets the length right. And another first over wicket for him. Late swing from Hunain Shah. Good length this time. It was up there asking the question. Yasir Khan, very well made, 33 of 16. Multan, 44 for one. Top edge. Top edge is gone for six. A typical Mohammed Rizwan stroke. Not the top edge, but the direction. Big shot over the infield for four. No need to run for that one. He'll not skid and slide on this occasion, Rizwan. Oh, that's straightforward. Finger is raised and he's done his job. After being put away for plenty, He's picked up Rizwan. That is the perfect intervention. What timing from Fahim. Oh, stone dead. Stone dead. Palia Gudagay raises the dreaded finger. Rizwan goes then for 20. It's 58 for two. Power play done. 
Oh, glorious drive. Really is A class. Absolutely aced it. Big shot. Magnificent hit. It had everything and more. Well, talk about pin your ears back and give it the full treatment. And again, this will go all the way. Got deep in the crease and brings Multan Sultan's 100 up. Simply some great views in the air to the bigger side. Enough. 50 partnership comes up with another scholarship from KFC. Not sure he gets this. Hunayn underneath it, couldn't get there. He couldn't get there. He was expecting the ball to be a little inside, so he was running diagonally rather than around the boundary. And again, this is simply scintillating from Johnson Charles. Anything that he gets straight with that angle, he just helps it on its way. So now you have to decide as a bowling group, do we take away that leg side from him? This will be sliced out towards that man who's put back there for that delivery. Put down. Well, is there a nick? There is. Again, a slower delivery with a better field. They needed that wicket, Islamabad. And it's the end of Johnson Charles. Johnson Charles trying to again guide it to third. This time it hit the glove. Important wicket, important breakthrough for Islamabad United. The match was running away from them. Made 42, Multan Sultans 144 for three. Oh, that's a poor delivery. Poor delivery because of the line as well. And it's just helped on its way. Cut away. Another 50 for this impressive man, Usman Khan. He has 300s in his T20 to Korea. He's already got 100 in this year's HBL PSL. He has a 96 as well. Does he get enough of it? I think he just does, yes. Even though he perhaps wasn't supposed to go there, he was supposed to go more long on. Oh, what a shot. Seriously, this is a shot. This is a serious cricket shot. 15 overs are done, 162 for three. Oh, boom. The sound off the bat was like the crack of a whip and it's disappeared once again. He is taking to Shadab Khan. Another boundary, another boundary. It's almost as though he's got a direct line into Shadab's brain and knows exactly where it's going to be. He's got pretty good striking talent himself, Iftikhar. It's a bit of a gimme from Tamar Mills. Slammed over mid-off again. This is party time here in Pindi. Goes for the Yorker. Oh, even that's gone for four. He's even managed to squeeze that one to the boundary. 50 partnership comes up. As early as oh, possible. Lamont hasn't got it, hasn't got it, he's gone. Now that's the way, there is one way of stemming the run flow. Nassim gives Iftikhar a little bit of a send off on the way, but goodness me. He's such a big driver of the ball, such a big six hitter. This had to be connected, Alex Hales. Saw it, seized it. Four wickets down. If the Khar Ahmed could get 13 from 12, 198 for four. That's a fabulous strike. 
He's got every single shot you could wish for. Plus one or two more. 203 for four. Drills it down the ground. Mid on is wide, won't get there. He's into the 90s again for the third time. Jordan in on the act, and that one has disappeared as well. Maximum power, maximum effect, 219 for four, one to go. Brilliant. Quite magnificent. A fourth T20 century, a third in HPL PSL over the course of two seasons. This man is absolutely on fire. Hey, you've got to admire the poise, the talent that we're seeing and the ability to hit the ball all around the park. Fifty ball hundred should come back for two. They do come back for two. And that means that uh, Islamabad United, to have their destiny in their own hands, will need 229 runs to win. Multan Sultans have uh, bucked the trend here. Great for the dugout environment. Exactly 100 not out of 50 balls. He's thrilled the audience. It's a capacity crowd here. But... Uh, the platform was set up by Yasser and Rizwan. It was relentless pressure. Charles batted brilliantly as well. 42 of just a handful of deliveries. And then the fun continued for Jordan as well. Uh, as bowlers, you have to forget this as quickly as possible. Yes, almost all the bowlers getting punished here. So is that a bad... United will need 229 runs to win and to keep their HBL PSL destiny in their own hands. Uh, don't go anywhere. It's sure to be explosive stuff in the second half. Paul Munro didn't start the season well. Alex Hill still struggling. He has been backed by Islamabad United for some time now. Still have got, got Guptil in the dressing room. Yeah, probably that's a ball where Colin Munro normally would put that away. There was a man back. And just to tell you about David Willey. Nick, gone. It's a wide delivery and he's telling him just how many times he's got him out. Seven times. Maybe even eight for Alex Hales against David Willey. And what a start. Disappointment from for Alex Hales and Islamabad United. Hardly any feet movement there, just the arms go. An easy take. And it's seven times he's counting. But what a start. Islamabad United didn't need this. Didn't need this zero from Alex Hales. Gone! There's one of the four Ramis. Three more to come. That is an excellent piece of fielding. It is never easy to catch off your own bowling. Well, a couple of great starts now for Multan Sultans. Massive breakthrough. Salman Aliaga gone for two. Islamabad four for two. With that second over straight away, Shadab Khan thinks, right, we've got to keep going here. There's no point in patting it back. What a shot, serious shot. He went short and got cut, so he put a deep point out. He goes full and gets hit down the ground. He can take the game away with you. That is a scholarship, KFC, six to finish off. Another good over, 19 runs from it, 38 for two. Wow, this is huge. A massive, he looks like he's just got to grips with the pace of the pitch. Now that is some shot. 
You've got to stand up and applaud this because it went like a bullet. Seriously, it was one smash. But for now, while the field's up, Monroe will hit it out. 50 partnership comes up in some style. Bang, that's gone. Fabulous from Shadab, dishing out a bit of the medicine he received when he was bowling. Oh, margin of error for the bowlers is minimal. Apply. Oh, Lordy. Colin Monroe. Osama Mir too close, got it underneath him. He can reach that all right. Wider. Oh, over the head of Willie. He'd set himself, but couldn't make the leap. And it's six more, and it's 50 for Colin Monroe. Trying to take the ball out of his reach, but so far he's still been able to combat this. Fantastic 50. They are trying their hardest. Another boundary. Oh, he's nailed it. Johnson Charles can do nothing about it. This is absolute carnage now. Not there, not there. Oh, this is brilliant from Monroe. Absolutely stunning. He couldn't find the middle of the bat before the hammy went. And now he can find nothing but. Should only be one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now that's pressure. That's nicely played away. It's a 50 for Shadab. Playing at home in front of packed audience, leading from the front, tremendous batting under pressure, partnership of 134. Hits it straight, hits it for six, I think. No, not really, he's taken on the fence. Time for Multan Sultans to calm down a little bit because it's been frantic for them. Bones fall right in the slot. Shadab Khan trying just to clear the boundary. Didn't look to really hit it hard, but didn't have the legs. Shadab walks back for 54. Islamabad 145 for three. Oh, Berlin! You've got your wish, Corky. And what a clocker of a ball. Splendid in swinging delivery that shed back into the stumps and knocked the stumps back. He's looking to actually hit you through mid wicket, but when a ball is up back of a length and comes in and you're not sure too much about the surface, Kazam gone, gone for none. 149 for four. Chance! Oh, would have been a great catch. Instead, the ball has missed the grab and gone to the fence. What is the best delivery? We've gone for the appeal, big catch. They probably have got Munro here. Yeah, now roll forward. Yeah, satisfied. My decision for big screen is... It's going to be O-U-T. And for some, OMG, because Munro has been removed. 84, he got 157 for five. Big shot, gets it in the gap for four. That is such a good shot. Well, that's gone for another four. It's been a rough day so far for Osama Mir. Three overs, none for 55. Four more for Haider Ali. Over, up and over for Fahim Ashraf. 48 required from 26. Top 
class. A knockout punch delivered by Muhammad Ali. Bold eye Jokka with control and searing pace. And beat the batsman. A crucial wicket. Ida Ali, his interest is over. 19 from 13, 181 for six. He's hit that in the gap for four. Imad, will his true quality with the bat come to the fore today? Instead, it goes for six. Try to get the Yorker in. And Fahim has thumped it over the short side. Should get runs for it. Four of them, to be precise. Four more, 10 or four, 16 to get, they're enjoying it. Remember what's on the line here, folks. Remember, Islamabad United need to win. Doesn't need to, just slam it through extra cover instead. That's the risk. Counter long on, safely held. David Willey wraps the fingers around it. An important wicket of Fahim is gone. Motionless shut up. Oh, they'll be relieved to see the back of Fahim Mashrab, who's got the ability to hit long hits. It's 221 for seven. Fahim goes to 23, 221 for seven. Is it six? Is it six? It is six! Scores a level. Imad Wazim, whose highest score this season prior to this was nine. And may have delivered the knockout punch here. Another boundary, another four runs. Who knows what difference that might have made. Fields in tight now, short extra cover, short mid-wicket. Squeezing a single. Islamabad United are into the playoffs of HBL Pakistan Super League 9. Commit the hour, commit the man, Imad Wazim. All the experience in the world, ice running through his veins. And he takes them to the promised land for 2024. A win by three wickets. There yeah, are those moments, that experience of international cricket came handy for Imad Wasim. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Great entertainment once again from uh, Pindi Cricket Stadium. Multan are quite happy. They still sit top of the table. But here's how it went down at Monroe was heroic, 84 from 40 on one leg. But before that, Hales had gone first ball. Salman joined him in the second over. Four for two was the score. Shadab then joined Monroe and the pair of them put on a blistering partnership that got them up above the rate. And Haider Ali with a valuable contribution. Fahim also, but it was Imad Wazim who stood tall at the end, finishing with 30 not out from 13 and sending Islamabad into raptures. And the reality of cricket hit Osama Mir really hard. Highest wicket taker. And he got a serious tap here. Went for 68. And who wanted to be a bowler on this surface? In a crucial match, just a reminder of how things played out. Islamabad United chose to field first. Multan were very good, getting up to 228 before Mark Butcher feels it should have been more. There's 100 for Usman Khan off 50 deliveries. 42 to Charles, and then Islamabad, courtesy a one-legged Monroe and captain Sharab Khan put on a 140-run partnership, and in the end, Imad took them over the line by three wickets. Highest ever successful chase for Islamabad United, and no one at this stage, nobody has cemented a top two position, but three qualifiers, Multan, Islamabad, Peshawar Zalmi, 
Puerto Gladiators still have a couple of games in hand and Karachi Kings have one more. 